Hello everyone. I wanted to add another video. I There's so much information. I wanted to add some of the lists and ideas for categories and some ideas of where to get some interesting stuff. I didn't want to wait till I got back from Thanksgiving to do this, so I'm going to try to do this really fast, like under 15 minutes, um, and give you some ideas of some of the categories and stuff you can use. So I'm going to start with some of the categories that I used for my sample book. I've already gone through the book in the two other videos that I've posted, but just to clarify some of the details, um, I'll go through it really quickly. Um, with trees is a good example of of what I'm doing. Trees is the category, so I try to come up with as many different trees as possible, either drawing, uh, cartoon, um, pictures children's drawings, um, this came out of Somerset Magazine, different kinds of trees. We have the money tree that I have an advertisement for, um, drawn or stamped trees, um, this one's an embossed tree, this is a list of different kinds of trees, I found this magazine, it's um, a natural, healthy living, healthy planet kind of thing. It was in front of the library. Um, and in the back, I found this tree that I have used. Um, I did get two of these. So if you look around, you can find all kinds of stuff. This one came in my mail they want me to go paperless and so there's this wonderful tree here that I'm going to have to use in something. Just keep your eyes open for all kinds of categories. Here's a heart. That would work as a star. Here's a cat and a dog. You can get magazines and stuff from grocery stores and libraries and all kinds of catalogs, um, all kinds of things. So keep your eyes open and you will find new and interesting stuff. These trees came from the Joann's um, ad that you get in the mail. Some of these are other catalogs. Christmas, Christmas tree um, advertisements are good. So not only do you collect pictures, but you can make lists of different kinds of trees as well. So. The list that I used for this book is trees, um, foreign words. Foreign words can be written words. They could be, um, this is a tag from something that I bought. I don't even remember what. This is something that was on my windshield. Uh, it must be an advertisement for, I don't even know what. Um, it's in Spanish. So I have no idea, but it is a foreign language to me. Um, I did cut out some menu items in a foreign language. Some of these are from instructions. They Electronics always, well not always, but a lot of times come with um, the, the safety features in all the different kinds of languages. You could also look up words on the internet, say find different ways to say hello in, in as many different languages as you can figure out. Um, that list is endless. My third one is circles and I had put a bunch of things that were circles in my pocket. Not only can you collect things that are circles, but you could draw around items on uh, the bottom of an aspirin container. You know, stamp circles. Um, I have stamps. This is the stamp that I did this with. I like, I like circles a lot. Um, this is a homemade stamp that I did with some little rubber washers. Um, you could stamp something and then include that in your circles. 
drawn circles, if you did um, acrylic paint circles with a lid of something or clocks or whatever. Circles is very easy. You can find a lot of circles. Birds. You can find pictures of birds, drawn birds, cartoon birds, glass birds, ornaments. You know, another way to challenge yourself would be to list as many different kinds of birds as you can think of. Ostrich, emu, owl. You can put one kind of bird on your page and if you found that one already, I found an owl, I can't put any more owls on there. Here's a cardinal, a penguin, um, peacocks, storks, cuckoo birds, whatever. You can challenge yourself or you can just add as many birds as you can find. My next category is cartoons. Cartoon characters. Um, you can make up whatever rules you want. Cartoon characters, old cartoon characters, you know, whatever. My next one is cities, cities of the world. I want to do personally places that I would like to see, and it's mostly going to be a list. I do have some pictures that I want to add, and then I will be adding a list of places that I want to go. I want to go to Easter Island. I want to go to Australia. Um, there's a, a lot of places that I would really love to see. I don't have pictures of all those places, so I will add a few pictures, maybe some words, lists, and I will add a list of places that I want to go. Food is my next category for this book. You could do a general food category, or you could break it down to fruit, vegetables, meats, um, pastries, cakes, cooked food. Um, the possibilities are endless with food. You could do just about anything. Fish is my next one. Um, whatever you can find. Stencils work real well. Die cuts, stamps, pictures of fish, um, I'm not sure exactly where else to find fish. Fish are a little hard, aren't they? Candy. Not only do you have pictures of candy, but you can have different candy wrappers. You can make a list of different candies. All kinds of stuff. Make rules for yourself. Um, you only can have chocolate, or you can only do old-time candy. You know, whatever. Red whatever rules you want to make up for your red. Uh, my next category, words that begin with A. Of course, they don't have to begin with A. You could do B words or C words or however you want to do that. And like I said before, it's not only words that I have found and cut out, but it's pictures of words and it could be lists. I, I have a stamp that has a door on it. I'm going to stamp that in there and add lists of words also. My next one is empty. I do have some empty or used. Um, that's the category. I've got some sugar packets that I need to find to put in here. You could do wrinkled or stained or whatever. Um, containers, labels, um, Next one is postmarks or stamps. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, postage stamps with, or they don't have to have cancellations on them. They could be brand new postage stamps if you want. Elephants is my next category. I chose a specific category, but you could do general animals or different animals or you know, whatever. Um, and again, as many different kinds. You know, stickers and glass, uh, marble elephants. This is a stamp. It's a copy of a stamp, actually, but doodled elephants, real elephants, um, stars. You could do star stickers, stars wherever you can find them. You can draw stars. You know, everybody makes the little stars. Um, 
um, lists. I went through the list of homophones. It is words that are spelled differently but sound the same. That could take hours and hours and hours to come up with lists and lists and lists of those kinds of words. You don't have to do that kind of thing. That's just what I did in this book. Blue, anything blue. You could do any color, yellow, um, green, orange. Alphabets. I did one of every alphabet on here. I think I've got two O's. It's the only thing I've got two of. But I plan on adding some more, so I might have to do two alphabets. Um, and I will be stenciling a couple of those. I don't have an X. I need an X, so I'll have to stencil that because I can't find an X. X's are hard. So my next category is rubbings. And we went through the rubbings in the other videos. So I showed you how to do crayon rubbings. So I won't go into detail about that one. Let's see what else is in this one. This one is the fibers, thread, um, string, whatever. That's pretty self-explanatory as well. Stickers, non-conventional stickers, stickers that are not store-bought stickers. Hands, you could also do feet or shoes. This one is one word movie titles. That's something to find online. Uh, wings. Wings could be anything. Anything with wings. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, flowers is one I used. I'm not a big flower person, so that's a real challenge for me. I couldn't find any flowers to put on the other side of this page. Um, that's one of my challenges. Numbers. Now, numbers can be anything. They could be tickets, uh, phone numbers. This is a shoelace thing. They can be spelled out. They can be a collage, a bingo card, anything. Numbers. However you can find numbers. Eyes. Drawn eyes. Cartoon eyes. Um, animal eyes. Words that are eye. Just go crazy and think of anything that you can think of. And since I have more pages, to have to work with here. I decided that I was going to add a transportation. Why am I lost my transportation? Why do I keep going past that one? It's in here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. I do have a transportation page, and that is anything that moves you from one place to another. I have no idea where it went and why I've not come across it. Did I lose a page? Transportation would be train, car, bus, truck. Um, my page has a rocket on it, and it was a page out of a magazine that I got. There it is, because I close pinned it. All right, so boats. Um, this is a logo for a railroad museum tickets for parking I think that was. This was an advertisement out of a magazine somewhere. Any kind of transportation. It has a rocket here. It was on the page before I started. That's why I put my transportation on there. So categories that I'm going to add are names that start with J, music, famous faces, cats, washi tape. I've got, I'm collecting, I've started collecting washi tape and I would kind of like to see what I've got so I'm going to add a little piece of washi tape to a page. Yellow, hearts, leaves, squares, magic, stripes. Now that would be anything with stripes. Zebras count. Think outside the box. Emotions, frogs, house, tickets, White, and white's a challenge. Trying to find white stuff is really tough. Glasses, that would be drinking glasses and reading glasses, any kind of glasses. 
things that float, eggs, triangles, imaginary creatures, keys, hats, windows and doors, feet and shoes, feathers, drinks, and mustache. I've got this mustache thing going on. Another idea, if you want to do categories for kids, the kids one, um, what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking about doing, um, for the little kids, let's do little kids first. Um, you could do something very, very easy and have alphabet. You have 26 pages, 24 pages, do something really simple, have one page be for each letter and they can find as many pictures with that category, aardvark or, you know, for A's, they can find a letter A or they could find an anteater or aardvark or whatever they can find, how many different things they can find for each letter. You'd have to put X, Y, and Z together because they're really rough or something like that. You could do colors, one page for every color. And you could do numbers also. You could do one star, two apples, three hearts. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff that way. Um, farm animals, sea creatures, animals just in general. Fruit, trees, all kinds of shapes. If you did circles, of course, you could do anything round. They could draw around circles. They'd have to label it just so that you know that they're not doing 25 of the same thing. Um, insects. Um, that list goes on and on and on. For older kids, maybe finding some stuff online. Hello in different languages. Disney movies. Um, puzzles and games. Capitals. Cities of the world kinds of birds, you know, drawings of cats. If they sit there and draw a cat 15 different ways, that would be fun. There is a book called uh, 20 Different Ways to Draw a Tree, I think is what it is. Um, it's very interesting, different ways you can draw a tree. Some of the other ideas for lists and, and categories uh, I've come up with are themes, more for adults. Um, I'm still bouncing around some ideas for this. Themes would be myths, um, zodiac, magic, circus, secret, graffiti, masks, on and off, up and down, hot and cold. These are general themes. Um, it would be a challenge to figure out what you could add to your page using something that you not necessarily know exactly what you're looking for. So you'd come across something and say, oh, that would work perfectly for crooked or humor, um, half, found, many, once upon a time, pair, poetry, museum, new, memory, souvenir, handwritten, Xanadu, fragments, shadow, locked, silence, um, some other interesting categories I'm still thinking about is a wish list, dances, cookie recipes, baby pictures, things that start with Q, map, smells or sounds, and the smells or sounds could be a list or it could be written out sounds. You know how the cartoon characters always have the pow and the boink and all that kind of stuff? weird words that make sounds. Um, and I have made lists of those. I, I should show you the lists and lists. I make lists. List of smells and lists of sounds and um, birds and yeah, I am a chronic list maker for just nonsense lists. Nothing, nothing that's really uh, good. Um, some more categories could be neon, wheels, instructions, chocolate, birthday, different kinds of marks, a pencil, a pen, you know, um, a marker, paintbrush, um, think of things that would make a different kind of mark and put those on your page. Um, another category would be quotes, wine, wine could be, you know, you could do labels, um, all kinds of food labels as well. Um, I came across 
you know, recipe cards in my um, my grocery store, and they have pictures and you know all kinds of great recipes that I really would like to try. Spaghetti squash is really good. Um, labels, I just took this label off my orange juice container that I'm ready to throw away. Wrapping paper would be another great category. Here is my stencil thing that I use for my wings and it's it, I came off a something. It was soldered on something and I took it off. And I use that as a pattern for all kinds of wings. I draw around it, stamp stuff like that. Um, you could do categories of water, fireworks, lace, occupations, bubbles, water, things that squeak. Um, for eyes, you can add wiggle eyes. Um, I have these little sticky eyes that I've had for quite a long time. I might add something like that. There's confetti, um, stars. There's some hat confetti in here. I like the hats. You could put them in a little, um, one of those little plastic Ziploc baggies and staple it to your page. Um, we covered stencils. You could use stencils. Um, catalogs. Guest checks from restaurants, all kinds of stuff. Junk mail has all kinds of numbers and words and letters. Um, this is a paint brochure that has Mona Lisa on it, some places, uh, envelopes. Um, just anything. Here is a placemat that I got from a Chinese restaurant. It has all the Chinese zodiacs. There is dragon, rabbit, tiger, rat, boar, dog. I mean, you can use this in just about anything. Asian could be another category. So, Think outside the box, and when you're looking around, things will come to you. And uh, think of other categories, and and choose what you think would work for you. What in what you are interested in. You will choose as many as you would like to put in your book, and and go for it, and see what you can find. It is a lot of fun. I recommend it. Um, good luck in your travels. I hope this would be a little helpful for for that. Um, for the journals, you could do a junk journal. You could do a blank book. You could alter a regular book. Um, for kids, you know, you've got those pre-done journals that have the stickers and pens and all kinds of stuff inside would be an easy easy one to do for, for little kids. Just tell them to find things in the alphabet. You could add pictures of things that they need to find and put one sample of everything. A star, a heart, the numbers, letters, whatever. It would be a lot of fun for kids to do. So I hope this helps a little bit and thank you for watching. I will see you all after Thanksgiving, I'm not sure exactly when I'm coming back, and I hope to have more done in either this one or my bigger one. Like I said, I had kind of hoped to use this one that's got, at the moment, 105 pages. That's an awful lot of categories. But, um, so that's what I'm hoping to do and I will check in with you when I get back. Happy hunting!